Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn how we can use water ripple effect in HTML. So you can see the example, we can use that effect using HTML and JavaScript. So this is the 5 minute code, so I will explain you everything. So let's start. So first of all open any, any editor, okay, you can use notepad or you can use VS code. So open any editor, code editor, now click on new file and use text file and now just enter your html open and let me just make this one larger so font size is fine cool so html open and html close now i will save that file so just press command s or control s save that file like uh, water.html and save i'm saving that file in the desktop so save that file so you can see we are using your HTML file. Now first of all we need to start the header section. So head just start and then close. And now we need to use your body. So let's just start the body and then close this body. Now we need to just type your hello world. Okay. And let's just save this and let me just open my desktop and open that uh, water.html file and Google Chrome so you can see hello world so this is the HTML file now we have to work with this so first of all I will use your one div so I will just open the div and close that div and I want to use your one class so I just say puts class equal and class name is image so what I will do I will create one class so to do that I need to use your style so I will use the style so just type your style and because we have to type here we have to code CSS so we need to write the uh, CSS in the between the style tag so I have open style and close style and I'll just write here one class so just dot image and then I will use here currently make it open and close and I will use here I will just make it little bit this okay cool so in the image I will use your background image and the URL bracket start and close and uh, now semicolon so I, I need to put URL so I will use your Chrome open Pixabay and just type your suppose some image so I will choose any image here go to the photos and uh, you will find there are a lot of images you can use any images so I'm going to use your that boy image that one so let me just try that one image and that one image I'm going to use here so we just need to click on right click on that image and you'll find open image in new tab just open image just copy the url go to the uh, your vs code here and just put that url here like this now we need to use your one more thing that's the background so we need to define the height and width so in the height i will define the 100 percent like this and the width is also 100 percent and save it and let me just open and refresh this see this one look like this now that's the image now we need to use your ripple effect so how we can add that effect so do that we need your two libraries okay so for first one is javascript library and second one is ripple water ripple library so i'm going to use your that library so i have that library uh, code okay that one i will give you that both link in the description so you need to copy that okay and we need to paste that code in our body section so open your vs code code editor and just paste it here like this cool that's your script so that one is script for google api uh, javascript jquery and the second one is your plugin jquery ripple plugin cool now we have added the library we have added the image now we have to call that uh, function one javascript function so we will start the script so just type your script open and close script like this so we need to write here simple code is like dollar and comma document dot ready so we need to just remove that here we just need to ready and then bracket and then curly bracket start and close and we need to use here this one bracket we need to close that one so we will just close this here like this now we need to write simple thing like uh, we need to allow the effect on the image so do that we need to allow that just dollar open bracket 
and you need, just need to put here dot image this one on that image okay on that image dot we need we need to apply the property so property name is ripples and then just type here ripples and bracket and then just dot show this is the class so we just need to use your comma like this uh, single inverted comma this one we have done mistakes from here I think no yes just save this and let's try it's working uh, or not just refresh this okay this one is working cool so that's the effect we have applied here so this is the really amazing you can use that effect in anywhere on your website so if you need any help on that so just comment on the video i'll try my best to solve your problems thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye